Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Prediction Sasha winds up pregnant. General Hospital Predictions suspect Sasha Gilmore may end up pregnant after her spontaneous romp with Michael Corinthos on the ABC daytime drama. Recently on General Hospital, Sasha Gilmore got a shocking visit that appended her world. Her mother, Holly Sutton, showed up on the quarter main doorstep. Sasha was furious because her mom had been absentee for most of her life, except when she needed her help running a con. However, things got much worse for Sasha when Holly admitted that her father was not dead as she told her. He's alive and in Port Charles, and it turns out it's Robert Scorpio on General Hospital. So that made her latest love interest, Cody Bell, her cousin. Of course, Sasha was crushed, and she only felt worse after breaking the news to Cody. So she wound up at the brown dog bar knocking back vodka. Later, Michael Corintho showed up. He was also down in the dumps after getting horrible news, and that's when things got messy. After Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, and Michael Corinthos, Chad Dell, were each hit with life-changing truth bombs, they unexpectedly leaned on each other. Currently, Sasha's heartbroken over Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, and Michael's grappling with the news that his wife kissed another man, twice. To make matters incredibly worse, the man Willow Tate, Caitlin McMullen, kissed his Michael's uncle, Drew Kane Quartermain, Cameron Matheson. Indeed, Michael's livid, but mostly with Drew Quartermain. So he will likely put all of his energy destroying him on General Hospital. However, Willow is making things worse for herself. Michael knows about the second time she and Drew kissed, but she didn't tell him when he gave her the chance. And of course, she has no idea he slept with Sasha. Indeed, their lies will catch up with them. And when Willow Tate discovers Michael and Sasha slept together, she may hop in bed with Drew. Partly for revenge, but mostly because it will give her an excuse to act on the desire she's been feeling for Drew for months. However, they may all be in for a shock soon. There's a possibility that Sasha's one-night stand with Michael may result in a pregnancy. If so, it's almost certain that Sasha will keep the baby, especially because her baby boy, Liam Corbin, died. Then they will have no choice but to come clean about their night together. And it's doubtful that Michael's marriage to Willow will survive that. Then Sasha and Michael may get back together and raise their baby on General Hospital. And Willow may get the chance to be with Drew. However, several relationships might be damaged beyond repair. GH is wildly dramatic and intense. Watch daily to see if Sasha Gilmore is pregnant with Mikey's baby on the ABC Sudzer. In the ever-twisting world of General Hospital, life rarely stays predictable for long. Poor Charles, where secrets bubble just beneath the surface and love, is a volatile blend of passion and pain is set for yet another revelation that could change everything. This time, it's Sasha Gilmore at the center of the storm, a woman whose heart has been bruised and battered, but who might just find herself facing a challenge, unlike any she's navigated before, an unexpected pregnancy. It all begins on an unremarkable day when Sasha is at the Metro Court, nursing a lukewarm cup of coffee and a stack of notes. Work had been the only place where she felt she could exert control over her chaotic life. After her rocky recovery from addiction and the devastating losses that followed, she'd been piecing together her fractured self bit by bit. The magazine, Deception, had given her purpose, and Lucy Coe's unyielding belief in her kept her afloat. But on this particular afternoon, a deep, relentless wave of nausea washed over her without warning. Startled, she stumbled to the nearest bathroom, gripping the cool edge of the sink as she fought the dizziness. The thought didn't come to her immediately. No, Sasha wasn't naive, she had been careful. But as the days passed and the symptoms grew, sleepless nights, sudden exhaustion, 
The faintest hint of vertigo, doubt crept in like an unwelcome guest. Sasha reached out to her closest confidant, Brooklyn Quartermain, who met her with a mix of concern and teasing. They sat together at Kelly's diner, where Brooklyn listened to Sasha's worries, her expression shifting from playful to serious. Are you going to take the test? Brooklyn finally asked, eyes wide with anticipation. Sasha bit her lip, staring at her coffee cup. I don't know if I'm ready to face the answer. But fate doesn't wait for readiness. It pushes, prods, and reveals. And so, after a restless night spent pacing her apartment, Sasha found herself holding a plastic stick in trembling hands the next morning. The seconds dragged on like hours, and when the faint double line appeared, her breath hitched. Pregnant. The word seemed almost surreal, like it belonged in someone else's story. Yet there it was, staring back at her, reshaping the outline of her life in an instant. The question of paternity loomed heavy in her mind. Memories of her complicated relationship with Cody Bell resurfaced. He had been both a source of comfort and chaos, a man whose intentions she'd never fully trusted, but whose presence had an undeniable pull on her. Cody's affections had been mixed with trouble, but there had been moments, quiet, fragile moments, where they connected. Could this child be his? Or was it possible that the fleeting warmth she'd shared with Chase, after an emotionally charged night, had changed everything? Their shared grief and longing had led to one unforgettable evening that now carried far-reaching consequences. Sasha knew she needed answers, but more than that, she needed support. The first person she turned to was Nina Reeves. Though their relationship had been strained by misunderstandings, they shared a bond that went deeper than the betrayals and reconciliations. Meeting Nina at Crimson Sleek office, Sasha spoke in halting sentences, her voice quivering as she admitted the news. The silence that followed was as thick as fog. Nina's expression softened as she stepped around her desk and pulled Sasha into an embrace. You're not alone in this, Nina whispered, eyes glistening with unched tears. The promise was a balm to Sasha's frayed nerves, but the anxiety remained lodged in her chest. Across town, Cody paced the floor of the quartermain boathouse, unaware of the storm brewing. He was already dealing with his own set of problems. A brewing conflict with Max Scorpio over a series of questionable decisions that put him in the crosshairs of the PCPD. The last thing he expected was Sasha showing up with news that could change both of their lives. What she finally did, her face pale and determined, Cody felt a shift in the air. She told him in the most straightforward way she could manage, watching as disbelief, shock, and a hint of hope flitted across his face. He reached out instinctively, but Sasha took a step back, wrapping her arms around herself protectively. We don't know what this means yet, she said, voice steady despite the turmoil inside. I just thought you deserved to know. Meanwhile, word traveled fast in Port Charles, as it always did. Brooklyn's whisper to Maxie Jones during a meeting at Deception soon turned into a murmur at the Savoy where Valentin Cassidine overheard and raised an eyebrow, considering what ripple effects this could have across their tangled alliances. Chase, too, caught wind of the news and found himself staring into his drink, his heart heavy with the knowledge that his unresolved feelings for Sasha might be pulled back into the spotlight. As Sasha navigated this new reality, doubts gnawed at her. Would she be enough for this child? Could she handle motherhood while still piecing together the remnants of herself? Yet beneath the fears, a small spark of something warmer flickered. The possibility that this child could be a second chance, a chance to heal, to rebuild, to write a new chapter not defined by grief or addiction, but by hope. Dr. Terry Randolph at General Hospital soon became Sasha's confidant, guiding her through initial medical appointments and offering gentle advice. You don't have to decide everything now, Terry said during one visit, 
her voice soothing. Take it one heartbeat at a time. Each step brought Sasha closer to acceptance. The moment she first heard the fluttering heartbeat during an early ultrasound, a sound so fragile yet resilient, her eyes welled up. In that room, surrounded by sterile walls and soft beeping monitors, Sasha felt a shift deep within, a promise, an anchor. But life in Port Charles is never so simple. Cody's involvement brought its own set of complications, not least because of his unresolved legal troubles. And Chase's reaction, once he confronted Sasha about their night together, only added to the tension. This doesn't have to be a mess, he said, searching her face for some sign of hope. Sasha's gaze softened, the weight of the situation palpable between them. Maybe not, but it's poor Charles, Chase. Nothing here ever goes according to plan. As the winter sun set over the town, casting shadows that seemed a whisper of secrets yet to come, Sasha knew one thing for certain. Her life was changing, and she would meet it head on.